Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron where, there we go, I was wondering if it was going to load in for a moment there, but yeah, we're absolutely fine, fantastic. We have a major lo logistical problem on our hands and we have for a little while, we've been kind of ignoring it and hoping it goes away, it's not going to go away. That's honestly wishful thinking. What we need to do here is we need to extend the length of this line. I think there's no way around it. In order to do that, we'll have to talk to the Russian Federation, and we will have to ask them for military access, which they will grant us. Fantastic. And we're also working on constructing in Kamchatka here, and I do actually want to grab some of these and move those up to the top prio as well because the logistics system prefers overland routes over sea routes so i'm hoping that by building these naval bases here that this will head up this direction rather than going around this way fingers crossed but we don't have a guarantee of that so we're going to delete all orders that are out here fantastic and we are going to immediately put in a front line. I would love to put in the front line over this way. Hmm. Oh, because we don't have the access to the Russian Federation yet. They'll respond in a moment. There we go. Okay. So now that we have that access, in theory, we can now do this. So that will widen our front. And hopefully that will reduce the strain on this logistical area. Unfortunately, this logistical area is almost our entire front here. So that's problematic. But we're going to work on that for a little while. And we do have a region-wide industrial integration that we can do. And so we shall. Let's see where we could potentially construct a civilian factory for that. Right down there. Fantastic. That becomes a top priority. There we go. And with that being top priority, that is amazing. The question now becomes, does this actually end up recalculating? We'll see. We are, of course, also currently heavily working on our tank brigades, which we're going to back off on those eventually. But we're also working on these infantry divisions, and we're going to go ahead and deploy these lads here. Fantastic. And all three of these will go into, I believe, this Coast Guard is where they need to go for now. That'll be fine. Wait, how many do we actually need here? 26. Okay, so we can move this one over to this Coast Guard. Fantastic. And let's take a quick look here. We need a total of 74. We are going to back off quite a lot of our infantry divisions here. That'll be fine. That'll be completely and totally fine. So we're going to, of course, realign over here. We're still going to have basically the same goal, which is take over this logistics zone. So our offensive line is still going to be pretty much this. Actually, I want to slightly adjust that. Can I edit this over here? Uh, apparently it's super laggy, but maybe. Yes. Like that. Um, actually, no, that created another offensive line. Okay, I'm just going to delete that one, and we will create the offensive line like so. I believe that is the actual state borders here. Yes. Exactly. Okay. So that's great, and we will go ahead and begin executing that as soon as we can. Perfect. So we're going to stretch out our lines here, and that will relieve some of the pressure on this particular state. It will by no means remove the pressure, but it will relieve it, and that's okay. So we will slowly make our way- hello, pause menu. We will slowly make our way down over there. We are very low on manpower right now. That is completely and totally expected. Uh, that's because this is all going on, and we are still in the process of replacing our Coast Guard, which is going to be a lengthy process indeed. So that is, of course, completely fine. Let's take a look at our constructions here. They are progressing, not tremendously fast, but fast enough we'll go with. Yeah, that'll be fast enough. 
So we will, of course, proceed here, and our core issue is just this logistical area, and we need to deal with it. Resistance to occupation, up over here. Okay, so we definitely want to deal with that as well. We're going to pop this guy over, most likely. He's currently up over here, actually, and this is where he should stay. Okay. So that is in progress. Insufficient garrison, apparently. Okay, that's good to know. There should be enough manpower for a sufficient garrison, though. I mean, we are on low manpower right now, but that'll change as we work on getting our garrison set up. And as each of these tank divisions finish, we are going to cancel the tank line. We only need the 17 tanks for now. So that'll do fine. And I mean, this redeployment, it'll take a while, probably most of the summer, if I'm honest. There's way too much in this location. For real, though. So that's a thing. That is definitely a thing. So we are beginning to move troops down over onto this front here. We're not really going to touch this front, I don't think, unless... Is the Tuva Independent Republic in this? They are. They are in this. That's Japan right there. Okay. So we can ask for... Not docking rights. Why, why would we want docking rights? We can ask for military access through them. And they accept. So that means that we can actually fully delete all of these orders again and create our front line like so. That's a much, much wider front. Okay. Our offensive line is still exactly the same. We are still primarily interested in doing this here. There we go. How close is that? Hey, nailed it. Fantastic. So that will, of course, widen our front extremely dramatically. And we're going to move down through here. And hopefully... We're going to find some areas where Japan isn't really defending, but I don't know that that's actually the case. What are we lacking here? Is that just a unit? Yeah, that's just a unit of tanks. That's fine. So we're just going to spread this all out, and hopefully that will substantially reduce the strain on this zone. You can see it is currently going, well, up, but it's kind of fluctuating a bit as we are spreading out and reorienting. So that is fantastic. We'll get in position for that, and we're hoping that our logistics flow changes here. Hoping very much. This makes no sense to me, but... If, if we can get our logistics into this zone, flowing into this zone, that will make a lot more sense to me. And this area over here, yeah, it is currently overstressed. That won't be the case for too much longer. We did just finish up research on Marines 1. Fantastic. We're going to grab Marines 2. That is absolutely amazing. And that is an Alpine division that I'm just going to toss into this army. Okay. There we go. That was from one of our allies, of course. We're not too concerned about the Alpine Division at this time. Although, I suppose it would be handy with all these mountains over here, but we're not exactly trying to play the most efficiently here. <laughs> if we were, I would be doing this substantially different, but I'm just having fun, so that is completely fine. Wow! Ten Japanese units there. That's a lot of Japanese units. Exciting stuff, that. Well, we're just going to keep on redistributing here. Our logistics are currently down to 91 there. That is a solid improvement. Extremely solid. Which army is going to be the one that is responsible for holding this? Uh, that's going to be army 18. I actually think that I want... Hmm. That's awkward, isn't it? Army 8 or Army 7 are the only ones that can do that. Okay, well, sure. I guess we'll leave it as is. 
Is it because it can only swap with the next one? Hang on. Is this over here army 7? It is. Okay. That makes sense. Sure. Well, we are working on numerous tanks, so that should be, in theory, okay-ish. We're going to get a modern tank brigade quite soon here, in about four days. That's good. And we're going to be able to deploy these lads here in about 12 days. Which is great, because we could use an infusion of manpower. Okay, so this Coast Guard unit here it needs 66, so we're going to immediately go through and we are going to disband every unit of non-foreign infantry that is in this. So this is 8, so we will go ahead and disband those. Fantastic. And then our next round of garrison troops will of course go in here. And this requires how many divisions? 66. So that'll be a little while. Of course, there's also this one. Which requires 74. I mean, we're pretty unlikely to be attacked by Japan in Europe, I feel like. So what happens if we simply disband all of these... Because all of these are in Europe, correct? Are these... Let's see here. Yeah, these are European holdings here. So we can just select all of these and delete them. That'll be 38 units and boom, over a million manpower. Fantastic. In theory, we should no longer be getting very low manpower. But perhaps we still are. Now we're going to continue recruiting these 16 divisions at a time. Ah, our tank division. Fantastic. Let's get that up into our weakest army that's up here. That'll be great. And we're almost done with that civilian factory. That's also great. I think we're no longer as concerned with convoy production, and we're going to toss that at producing more modern tanks. We definitely need them. So that'll be fine. And we are working away at multiple locations there, so that's great. Now, we're not going to see any changes over here until these naval bases start getting up to, like, level 10. That'll be fine. Military access from Bulgaria, we accept. Okay. So logistically, how are we doing over here now? 58 out of 6. That's much better. It's not great, but it's better. So that's something, anyway. Oh, we actually got a gain down here. Shocking. Very shocking indeed. But we'll take it. So yeah, I mean... It's, it's definitely not the best situation here. The primary issue is our logistics. We are still moving quite a number of troops, though. And we're not going to be ready to uh, really take a look at these logistics with the expanded front for a while yet. So that'll be fine. Now, Kazakhstan is not in this war. So that is something that is good to know. France and the US are making some gains over here. Oh, wow. Big gains over here, actually. As in, Tokyo is in danger of falling. That's exciting stuff. We're definitely pushing in over here, though. That's really, really good to see. We're, we just, we're struggling up here because of supplies. That's the primary issue. Now, we're slightly over our supply limit here, and will that change? I, I think it will. It'll continue to change over a little while. We will probably want to have some infrastructure up over here, but for now, it seems to be fine. And this is a marked improvement here. So that is fantastic. We just needed to widen that front. And we're definitely seeing some gains over here. So that's really, really good. How are we doing on our war participation? We are at 1% war participation here. Actually, 2%. Okay. Fantastic. I'm going to move these guys over into aggressively attacking at this time. 
Just anywhere where they're weak, go ahead and hit them. We're winning across this front, so that's great. We're going to do that. We're going to push in hard and fast. It's going to be very important that we take what we can right now. So that'll be fine. Let's take a look at our recruitment over here. We can deploy all of our additional garrison troops. So that's wonderful. We will go ahead and do so. And all of those garrison troops, they're going to be assigned into, not this army, but rather into this army, I believe. Okay. So this army needs a grand total of what? 71. This army needs 74. That'll take some time. We're actually going to disband all of these guys as well. So that is all of our manpower from our garrisons returned to our pool. Fantastic. And now we just need to max all these out. So this one's at 65. This one is at 26. So the next ones will, of course, go into here. And that'll be fine. That'll be absolutely A-OK. -okay. Definitely picking up some lag over here, but that's not shocking considering all that's going on. Japan decrypted our ciphers. Can we decrypt their ciphers? I'm not sure if we've actually gotten a cryptology department. No, we haven't. We should probably do that, shouldn't we? Let's form a cryptology department. Fantastic. The fall of Tokyo. American forces have entered Tokyo, and the U.S. War Department recently announced an end to major combat operations in the city. Fighting was reported as heavy, particularly, particularly in the vicinity of the Imperial Palace, which was defended by fanatical members of the Imperial Guard, even though the Emperor is believed to have left the city before the American assault began. With the fall of Tokyo, experts predict that organized resistance on the rest of the Japanese home islands will soon crumble. Peace negotiations are expected to begin shortly unless Japanese hardliners convince the Emperor to continue the fight to the death. Well, we're just going to continue to push in up over here and get what we can. And yeah, we were stalled out up here because of supplies basically the whole time, but that's not shocking. I should have expanded our front a long time ago. There's no doubt about it. Regardless, it's okay. We'll still be able to get some some land from Japan, and we'll get all of our territory here that we technically own back from them. So this is completely fine, and we're going to get a good amount of resources from it. The real question is, what do we do after this? Because this is going to lead to overall peace. Eventually. Eventually. We're okay with Japan wanting to hold out here because we are taking territory along this front. That's pretty great for us, actually. How are we doing on our infantry equipment? We are losing some infantry equipment right now, so we could definitely use perhaps something like this. There, like that. We'll just toss a few additional factories at it. And we are still working up our efficiency there, so that's great. We're going to continue attacking along this front, and we can see that we've got some troubled supply areas, but they're really not that bad, all things considered. This supply area is down to 50 out of 6, and will continue to decline as we bring more units out of there. We've expanded our Special Forces program, and that is fantastic. We are going to continue to expand our Special Forces or rather, give our Special Forces survival training. There we go. Fantastic. And we're definitely making gains over here at this time. I am noticing that our front line isn't extending all the way out here. And I'm wondering why that might be. Let's just go ahead and bring it on out. Fantastic. So we'll go ahead and do that, and these guys are going to continue to move around and push on in. Yeah, it, it's amazing what happens when you have supplies, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely amazing what happens when you have supplies. So we have slight supply drops over here, but it's not nearly as bad. Not nearly as bad at all. We would love to take this supply zone, but ultimately it's going to be ours anyway when Japan capitulates. And it kind of looks like Japan isn't interested in capitulating at this time. 
they might fight to the death. If they did, that'd be great. We're continuing to push in on this front, and that does net us resources down over here, I believe. If we go into the resource map mode, yeah, you can see here there's steel, there's chromium over here, tungsten, aluminum. Absolutely great. This is all stuff that we are interested in. And this is all stuff that we own, technically. So that is fantastic. The interwar armored car has finished up, and we are going to research... I think we'll grab Mountain Infantry 3. Perfect. So we are continuing to do some damage to the Japanese over here, where we have actual supply lines. And that's fantastic. Many of the Japanese units over here are just non-existent. Isn't that good to know? That is very good to know, in fact. That's fantastic. So this is Russian Federation here. This is Japan. Yeah, they've pushed in over this way. And that's fine. They can do that. We're going to continue to push this border. And there will be no problem with this. Japan really can't resist us. Over here, anyway. The only reason they could resist us over here was because of supplies. But I'm looking at this right now. Is it just me, or have they yielded this? This looks distinctly like they yielded this to me. And then we can cut this off like so. I want to select, I think, just this one. Cut off this tank unit. Okay. So they've definitely yielded along this line. That's fantastic. They seem to have a complete collapse going on here. I mean, that's not surprising considering Tokyo just fell. Like, this was a huge amount of their manufacturing base. So that's going to be very rough for them. Yeah, we're just going to push in over here. Are the Russians pushing in? No, they're not. Just slightly shocking. But yeah, they're in full withdrawal. Are they withdrawing this tank unit? Yeah, the tank unit is actually just piecing out. When's it going to leave? Well, it stopped, actually. Because it's being attacked. Yeah, we found a unit there. And that tank unit pieced out. In we go. Fantastic. Yeah, that's absolutely wonderful. We're very, very happy about that. Let's take a look at our units over here. They're at 14%. Okay, so about 12 days to go there. These modern tank brigades, yeah, they're currently lacking in a lot of modern tanks. That's to be expected, and we'll get to work on those eventually. We have a big, big lack of steel, of course, and we're going to continue to work on all this. We did just finish our cryptology department. That's fantastic. And we are going to, I think, continue upgrading all of this. Passive defense is always current, is always completely fine. So we're going to definitely do that. And yeah, the Japanese are just in full retreat across this front now. So that is amazing. They've got a couple of units here and there. But not too much. So we will continue to push on in. Our units are still on their way over. In fact, this unit has a long walk ahead of it. <laughs> a very long walk ahead of it. Fantastic. But yeah, this is overall extremely, extremely solid. And this is all because the United States attacked the home islands, right? It's because Tokyo fell. But that is completely fine, and we're going to take whatever we can up here. Once we have control of all this, we'll probably look for neutral areas that have, uh, that have resources. Like, we're mostly interested in resources, right? That's what we want more than anything. So, 73 over here, that's definitely going well. This is, this is actually not even Japanese troops. Exciting. Well, Japan is definitely in full crumble mode. And that's okay. Yeah, we're moving in over this way. Perfect. How much of this territory is actually ours? 
This whole state is ours. Fantastic. Mongolia has that as a core state, but we don't care. So yeah, we have all of this. Of, of course, the Russian Federation has this, unfortunately. And eventually, we're going to have to do something about this whole uh, allies problem. It's pretty much just them and us remaining, right? So that's something that we're going to need to work on. I think that our spy network in Japan is kind of no longer important. So we're going to go back to building a spy, a spy network in the United States. Excellent. And we're just going to continue pushing the Japanese back over here. There's only so much that they can do. So these guys, I'm going to tell them to come up over like this. I'm going to tell this guy to come to here. And then this tank unit is going to come over here and liberate that territory. Actually, this guy can just kind of stop. The tank unit will have that under control. Fantastic. I like how we still haven't made gains up here. <laughs> it's fantastic, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Peru wants military access. We'll grant that for now. Okay, so they are a supervised state of the U.S. They need more political power to become free. That's interesting. That's definitely something that we're going to need to work on. But we'll go ahead and do indu region-wide industrial integration, and we're going to grab additional civilian factories. They're just extremely valuable. Where can we build this? Perhaps we can't. It might have been in a location that was overcapped. Or I might just be blind. It's hard to say. Galapagos? Nope. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, looking like not going to be a thing. Sure. Probably an area that was overcapped. So we are going to work on paratroopers too, I guess. That'll be fine. Fantastic. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to continue. Well, first off, I want to edit this front line. We are going to continue to push back the Japanese. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time when we realize we need to delete some of these orders uh let's get rid of that and that okay i think that's nicely cleaned up i hope <laughs> fantastic i'll see you all next time <laughs>